I stand here, I uh, was listening to what Adam, Dr. Wright, was saying, and you're not supposed to make me cry today, Adam, but thank you very much. I'm, I tell you what, I, I am so honored to receive this, especially uh, from someone, Dr. Wright, that I respect, someone that I admire, and someone that I truly call a friend. Thank you very much. I also want to thank the faculty at DBU. Some of you have allowed me to come into your classroom and speak to your students. And uh, I consider that a privilege and an honor, so thank you all very much. And Dr. Cook, think back to 29 years ago when you came to this school. And, and look around now at, at what it's become. It's, it's amazing what you and God have accomplished. A smaller, lesser-known college has been transformed into a majestic and renowned university. This truly has become a light on the hill. Thank you, Dr. Cook. So, I stand here, Adam stole one of my lines, by the way, but I stand here today in the Pilgrim Chapel, and I think, you know, the weather guy wouldn't be here today if we didn't have the sun shining outside, and we certainly do, so this truly is a thank Delphus moment, so uh, I thank you all for being here and listening to that canvas, I'm so sorry. Uh, so, for all of you graduates that are about to receive your diplomas, you probably have a plan, right? So you're going to take your degree. Here's the plan. You're going to take your degree. You're going to find a job in your field and the city you want. You'll probably get a promotion on your first annual review. You'll marry your soulmate. You'll have the obligatory two kids. The path you envision is just like this, right? It's a straight path, right? Now, believe me, not only is that unrealistic, it's kind of boring kind of confining, you know what I mean? As, as the famous adage says, college is something you complete. Life is something you experience. The path you envision, it should be more like a country road. There's going to be hills, there's going to be turns, there's going to be detours, there's going to be patches of gravel. That's what you need to envision. You're going to find those twists, those turns. Those are the best times. They really are because they'll open you up to unique and interesting experiences. And it's in those experiences that you'll discover who you really are. So if you just follow the plan, it's going to limit you. Trust me, there's so many opportunities and adventures you can't conceive of right now. My story, you heard Dr. Dowd talking about it, my story, it's, it's not new, unique and that I set out on that straight path. But I have lots of twists and turns. Everybody does. When I was your age, as Dr. Dowd said, I was headed down the road to become a Major League Baseball player. I was sitting in the bullpen. And do you think it ever crossed my mind that I would be your weather guy? I mean, seriously. But I'm thankful for those twists and turns. I truly am, because I, I love what I do. And believe me, I wouldn't change a thing. So don't worry about the detours. Please don't worry about the detours. Embrace them. What those detours are, that's God working in your life. He, he sees the path before you. As you're all sitting here, I hope you feel successful. And you should, right? I mean, you've all worked very hard for four years. And some of you may be a little bit longer, okay? And that's okay, because truly, at the end of the day, you've accomplished your goal. You really have. And you need to enjoy that feeling now. And listen to me, enjoy the feeling now. Because what you're about to experience next are some failures. As you travel down that twisted path, those gravel, those gravel patches, there's going to be disappointments. There's going to be failures. And that's perfectly fine. It's OK. Remember this, it doesn't matter how many times you fall, as long as it's less than the number of times you get back up. Failures can truly become a stepping stone to latter success. You remember the story of Thomas Edison when he invented the light bulb? It took him a thousand tries before he was successful. And a reporter asked him, how did it feel to fail a thousand times? Edison said, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. You know, 
if you see deviation from the plan is failure, then you're going to fear it. You'll become so focused on not failing, you won't aim for great success. You'll just settle for a life of mediocrity. You know, if you choose to play it safe, you'll be the person that walks along the beach and never leaves a footprint in the sand. You know, we know that it doesn't matter if the path varies and you have to take some detours or when you have failures along the way. But what does matter is how you travel down the path. As Christians, we have the opportunity to serve God and spread the love of Christ in the workplace, no matter what our career is, by simply doing our jobs well. It's been said, all work done well and for the glory of God is Christian work. This means we model Christ in the workplace best when we perform well with a good attitude. That's how we inspire others to desire, to know, and to worship God. Work well done with integrity, humbleness, and love, it's uncommon, but it'll be noticed. Paul explained it like this, whatever you do, do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive your reward. It is the Lord Christ whom you serve. You know, so I, I, I look at that scripture and I think, we're called to serve our co-workers and our clients with excellence. It's that quality of our, as Christians, it's that quality of our work and attitude that has to be different from the work and attitude of those who don't know Jesus. And it's that difference, that difference alone that is our witness in the workplace. So as you leave this campus today, whether you move home or whether you move to a new state or whether you're starting a new job or maybe pursuing another degree, think about this. Over your last four years, you've learned a lot about yourself. You've learned a lot about your passions. Now it's time to follow them. It really is. And you may have come in today with some mixed feelings. You know, there's excitement, there's worry, there's hopefulness, there's anxiousness, or maybe you're just relieved. But what you need to hear me say today is this. You don't have to have it all figured out right now. That's okay. You just have to be faithful to God's process. Sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's clear. And trust me, sometimes it's pretty murky. But in the end, you need to have faith that God does have a plan. He does have a plan for you in each and every one of you. And he won't abandon you as you seek it. Thank you all.